the last sprint finish, you sure you're not going to be in the 200 meter uh, final later on? Uh, mate, honestly, I had no idea how fast that ran. I was just that was as fast as I could run. I don't know what it was, but you know, it was great. You know, I didn't know what was happening behind me, so I just kind of put my head down and just ran. I was expecting the guys to be up on me in the last 50 meters and kind of like ruling it out, but obviously, you know, about 20 meters from the line, I realized no one was there, so I was just I realized I did it, but you know. I don't know how fast it was, but it felt fast. So how much does it mean to you? You'd see on the finish line, you were just... Yeah, ah, oh, huge. And I've been... Ever since I kind of broke through and I ran 3.37 when I was just starting running about five years ago, I kind of never moved on to that next level. So it's kind of I've always been like hitting it. And then I went, changed, changed coaches and kind of thought this is what's going to take me to the next level. And it, it just... Through no fault of my own, and my coach has just backfired, it just didn't really work. So, you know, there was a time when I didn't think I was ever going to be able to come and run at this level again. So, last year was a real big year, got me back to running PVs and stuff. And just having that confidence this winter that I was back in good shape just set me up great for this race. You know, it's just kind of, it's been about two years' work, I think, this race just coming in. And I was at such a low point, and uh, this is the high point of my career. So, you know, it's great, I feel, ama feel amazing right now. Brilliant. And what do you believe is possible for Poland? What, what do you believe? That we could see from you. I generally think I'm in about 335 shape at the moment. I think I'm in the best shape I've ever been. So I think I can make the final. I really do. I think I've got to go there believing that. And then once you're in the final, you know, it's anybody's race. It's going to be the standard of the field. The semi is basically going to be as hard as the final just because it's just a few spots to get through. So I want to go there and hopefully get top five or six. That's my target. I'm running with Chris and Charlie. I was just speaking to Chris. He was saying that there's a good good relationship with all you guys. What, what's it like with them pushing you? Does that just just make you even more eager and just put push you. Oh off. yeah, it's great. You know, like I want them to do real well. They're good friends of mine, and it's great. You know, through the hard months, it's great knowing that these guys. I need to be at the top of my game to compete with them. You know, like Chris last year showed how good he is, and Charlie. You know, Charlie's phenomenal for how old he is. He's done so much already. So. You know, it's great. Watching Chris at World Champs last year gave me so much inspiration because, like, he, was, he had a great season last year, but I wasn't that far behind him. And I was kind of looking at him thinking, if he can do this, you know, it gives me the belief that maybe I can do this. So, yeah, it's great having those two guys to compete with. And hopefully we can do it for the next two or three years and help each other out. And hopefully one of them will be there with me in the... In Poland, I'm sure they certainly deserve to be. So, you know, it's great to have those teammates and, and friends. And what's it like being back in the country? Obviously, uh, the big weather to deal with. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it was awful. The first cup, the first week was shocking. I went back home and it was just raining every day, windy. So, you know, luckily. All my good quality training had already been done in New Mexico, so it's kind of just like the last, you know, the week before I race, not really doing much. So it's kind of just getting out there and running and yeah. giving my mum about four layers of clothes every day to wash. So I don't think <laughs> glad to be indoors. Good. Yeah. So yeah, it's nice that this is indoors, and Yorkshire is much nicer than it is now, yeah. so it's been all right. <laughs> and finally, Europeans and Commonwealths, is there a priority, or and obviously is the aim medals? Yeah, definitely, yeah. especially Europeans. I think Commonwealth's hard because you've got the Kenyans in there, but you don't know I'd certainly be competing for, you know, once you make the final of those events, like you just got to have a good day. So. Commonwealth is obviously the first one up, so that's my priority. I think that's the big one. And if I make the Commonwealth team, I'll almost certainly make the European team just because of uh, the process that we got to go through in terms of running the standard and going to the champs and stuff. So, you know, I want to do it both. So, first aim was wild indoors. I've done that, so now it's kind of get get ready, to get the indoor season done, compete as well as I can, and then have a couple, have a week off, and then get ready for outdoors. Well, thank you, Liam. Thanks for talking to Eight Lane. Thank you.